Oke. Okay. Ah! Hi guys, it's Ali and welcome back to my channel and for today's video is kind of like a mess already um, you can probably tell from the eye look that I have it's not really noticeable from where I can see in the viewfinder but for today's video I actually went ahead and challenged myself with another eye makeup look I didn't really have anything in mind so what I did was go to Google and searched up eye makeup looks and then I basically just closed my eyes and browsed through it and the first thing that I clicked on was the look that I did so this was the creation that I did it's such a fail but I don't want to talk too much but anyways without further ado let's get on with the video okay guys so mommy need na ako ng makeup look I makeup look I'm sorry I makeup looks so pupunta akong images so yan okay I will do close my eyes and I'll also say stop okay game na ba Okay. You know, kaba na ako, girl. Parang. Anyways, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Kaya ko tayo ng ta. It says I make up looks. Okay. Okay. Na. Hmm. Nakak nakapikit ako, guys. Nakapikit ako kanina. Okay, okay. Ito. Born. There is no way I can do it. I think it was edited. It looks edited. It seems kind of easy, kind of. Because the dot dot mo lang naman. Okay, fine. We're gonna go with this picture. Okay, so I think we can do this. Voice over. Go na bahala. Balo. It looks like I'm rethinking my life here because I do not know how to start. I just know how to start the base, but I do not know. Uh, 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 uh. As per usual, I would always put on an eyeshadow primer to make the eyeshadow stay longer and of course to avoid creasing throughout the day. But I also remove this makeup after an hour or so of doing my poses. But anyway, of course, I'm going to set that up and we're going to start off with the base. As per usual, I am using this palette from Morphe. So I'm just going to start off with a transition that is closer to my skin tone just to give it... Um, a base no a guide for the darker orange that i'm gonna put on did i just say orange <laughs> i meant orange on my crease yep so after putting on that transition shade i'm going to do the outer darker orange that i have on the crease so i'm going to build that up so that i don't have any problems with it later but i'm just going to map that out all over my crease and of course build the orange on the lid later yep blend 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 i love it you might not want to see what's going to happen next totally fine with it just like that yeah and he was like wait really and she was like yeah i mean if she were to stay somewhere else how, how much were you gonna pay them <laughs> Was that fun for you guys? <laughs> I don't know what TikTok has. TikTok? Oh my god, Ali, can you speak? I've been stuck in TikTok all day long, and pretty much everything I see in my FYP is that video or that, you know, like, look. I don't know what to explain about it, how to explain it. Okay, back to our agenda. I'm just building that darker orange on my crease so that it's more pigmented because I just want it to really look orange. Makes sense, right? Once I'm fully satisfied with how pigmented it is, I'm going to just lightly blend it out all over so that it doesn't have any harsh lines as per usual, guys, you know. Yep. Uh-huh. After that, I'm going to proceed on putting on 
the orange a lighter orange on the lids so I'm gonna use a brush for that but later on I'm gonna be using my finger since I felt like it would put on more pigment and it would look more better and look more orange and darker I just really wanted the orange to show up on my lids because I don't know why I it's not showing up as much as I wanted to so I'm gonna be using my pinky finger for this one um, did I use my pinky finger? I didn't want to. <laughs> okay, it was the middle finger and um, yeah, I think, oh. <laughs> okay, the index finger too, okay. I actually prefer using my pinky finger most of the time, but I don't know why I didn't choose to do that. Maybe because I'm going to work on a much bigger part of my lids. So yeah, um, I'm just going to blend that out and I feel like I'm going to really just build on that orange i think i'm gonna be using a darker shade here as you can see it got a little bit darker because i really wanted it to be the same as the look that i saw from google so yeah and then of course i'm just gonna blend everything together when i do these voiceovers of course i mute the audio from the video that i took because i usually am listening to podcasts and oh <laughs> Sorry, I just cracked my knuckles. Okay, so I've finished my eyes. I'm now gonna... Oh my god. Miley! Oh my god. Okay, sorry about that. But anyway, so I had to scrape off an eyeshadow from my palette to really match the color that I saw from the makeup look. And this was the closest that I could see. So what I did, I scraped it off. I added a foundation, a white foundation. I mixed that with the eyeshadow that I scraped off a while ago. And then, of course, I had to make sure that they are mixing well and that they are pigmented as much as I wanted it to be. And after that, I took the other end of an eyeshadow brush, the, the smallest or like the thinnest eyeshadow brush that I have. I took that and of course made that dot because I cannot draw for the life of me you guys I cannot draw this is why doing artistic eyeshadow looks is such a challenge for me that's why this is like really out of my comfort zone I didn't know what I was doing so yeah <laughs> since I can't draw that's why I took the end the other end of the eyeshadow brush to create the circle so that I don't have to be bothered by drawing them and after that, uh, I just did like four to five circles, bigger circles, and then I took a liner brush to create the smallest, the small circles that I have. But I had to go back to them to make them more pigmented because it was not picking up as much product. So yeah, I'm just gonna create those like stars kind of. Okay, so while I go do that dots all over my eyes, the smaller ones, um, I saw from my previous video a comment about introducing my cats. Now I have 10 cats you guys, so I'm gonna try to bring them all in one frame which is entirely impossible. But I will try my best to at least introduce all of them, carry them, but I don't think I'll be able to bring them in one frame because most of them are going to fight each other. I swear to god I'm gonna have chaos all over my room fur all over but i will try my best to introduce all of them i'm gonna share stories on how we got them pretty much blah 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 i'll share it in the next video okay okay i've basically given up here i don't know what to do i actually prefer that eye but the other one i had to edit and i just don't know how it happened but yeah yes that transition again i just put on my lashes and of course my liner and here i am comparing because i know i failed <laughs> at least i tried my best here again i am no artist that's why this sucks for me but i just proceeded anyway I did my bronzer i did my blush and then of course I'm going to do the lips, although I didn't use any lip product, I just put on some balm because I already had a tint on my lips. I don't know why, but yeah. Anyway, that's it. I am so done with this look. And be prepared for the poses in 3, 2, 1.
guys like this video if you have any ideas for an eye makeup look for me just let me know down in the comment section below but um pretty much i feel like i enjoyed doing that browsing thing you know because it's something new i didn't really know what i was going to expect at least it looked easy but i really am not sure i liked this eye better this one was just like a mess but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys liked this video if you did please give this a thumbs up and if you haven't already go subscribe to my channel for more contents from me and i will see you guys soon bye Meow.